Welcome back to the Dusty Workshop. So today we're going to talk about two more types of knots. And actually I'm going to introduce you to actually four knots. But we're going to talk about them together. It's a family of knots that we're going to begin with. They're called bends. And bends are literally bends in the rope. And the knots are tied off by that. So I'm going to start with two pieces and bends are typically for joining two pieces of cord together. So we're going to take our first one and we're going to bend it in half like this. So you can see it down here. I'll see if we can make this stay on the, on there. I'll hold that down. And then I'm going to take the other and you can kind of just go in and out and around them. And it's go, go underneath and over and around and then back down and through. And when you've done that, you've tied one of our favorite knots, a square knot, just like that. Now a square knot has the tails on both sides. If you tie it so it goes the other way, that's called uh, a thief's knot. And so we can do that. I actually have to think about doing it in order to make it work. You can do it just like that and make it appear. People also oftentimes get worried about right over left and left over right. This is the only way I keep it straight. So I'm, I'm actually doing it with my eyes. So you're going to put a bend in it just like this and put the short tail on top. You're going to come in with the other piece, the other rope, come in through the loop, go down wrap it around and come back through so that the tails, both tails are on top. That's a square knot when both tails are on top, just like that. If you do the wrong way and you form the thief's knot, you come in, you go over the top and then back through. And now you have a thief's knot. Thief's Knot got its name during the American Civil War, and that's a story you'll have to come to camp to hear. The Camp David Crockett, great place to go and to visit. Um, a lot to do with that. Okay, so here's another one, the sheet bend. So you can go in and do the same type of thing. You go in, you wrap it around, and instead of, oh, I want to put the short end on top, okay? And you go in, you wrap it around, come back over and instead of going through through the big loop you bring it underneath underneath and it tightens up now this is really a good knot for joining two types of rope that are different diameters or different thicknesses so with this little bit of rope if I had to join this rope and this rope this would be the ideal knot to choose to do that so I would go over and under and back around and then I would tighten it up but this is so thick I want to use what's called the double sheet bend I want to wrap it twice around so I'm going around with the tail and I'm gonna wrap it around go underneath one time and then I'm gonna wrap it around and I'm gonna go the second time and then I'm gonna snug it up and that snugging up process is called dressing the knot and so you have to carefully work it so the knot gets the correct shape. If you pull too quickly or, or too hard initially, the, the knot will deform and it won't do what you want it to do. And so this will hold very nicely. Forms uh, a nice straight line coming out the back. That gives you the maximum strength for a knot. It's really what you're looking for. So we just covered a square knot, a thief's knot, the sheet bend, and the double sheet bend. Come back and visit. I'll see you tomorrow or another day. Bye-bye.